there so that it doesn't look messy just to make work easy for us since we'll be twisting per portion So our, our hair is ready for twisting. We'll just take a portion. We're going to use Eco Styler gel to lay to lay the roots, but it's not compulsory. It's not necessary. You can just use hair oil. Instead, as for me, I'm going to use both. Since my hair is for C type, so the gel will help in laying the roots. Just trying to section my hair using the comb. Though usually I section using my own fingers. So you will just see me sectioning with my fingers at some point. Because I'm so much used to sectioning my hair using my fingers. I'm going to show you two styles of twisting your yarn twists. The ones that I usually use. They have a favorite and a simple one that every beginner can use. So in this first one we're just going to hold all the air on one side of the yarn. As you can see, then twist it on that side, then we start twisting it. I hope you can see they have done it. This is easy to grip as it grips the root so well. With my next video, I'm going to show you how to style yarn twist in various ways. And maybe in the next one, I also do a story time on the advantages of having yarn twist. So, if you are interested, kindly smash the subscribe button so that you are notified once the videos are up. And like twisting the normal braids, twisting yarn is so easy since it's rough. So gripping it is easier than the normal or the regular braids which are a bit smooth so they tend to slide. So if you're learning twisting for the first time, I recommend that you, you start with yarn twist or you can use any kinky braid. I have a video on how to grip the roots of your hair while tw while twisting kinky braids i'll just link it in this video so that you can check it it's a whole different style but it's also very simple and easy to do since kinky braids are also rough so as a beginner i recommend that you you start with the kinky braids or the yarn twists As I said before, I find it really easy to partition my hair using my fingers See, since I can approximate the, the right size. And like when I'm using a comb, though I'm trying to adapt to using a comb, I only use a comb when I'm doing another person's hair, but while I'm doing mine, just use my own fingers. 
since I can't see it, I prefer measuring the size of the hair that I partition using my own fingers. I hope you can see the way I'm twisting it. This, this method is quite easy and it grips the roots really well. The advantage of using gel while twisting your fussy hair is because it prevents it from showing so much in, in your twist. Since it will be holding onto the, onto the yarn. I'm going to use four packets of yarn twists, the big size. I'm just using the normal yarn. I'm not using the Brazilian wool. Because if I twist my hair using the Brazilian wool, I usually use a minimum of six packets. But when I'm using the normal yarn, I just use four maximum. But I can also use three, depending on the length that I want. Remember not to hold the roots of 